right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Sunday, the 19th of March. That's right, we work here on Sunday, man. When you're drinking the world's greatest wines, it takes a lot of time, man. You gotta work seven days a week and we're here for you, our wine drinking people. We don't do a lot of events on Sunday. We don't do a lot of events on Saturday, but uh, we're celebrating the opening of our new space, the Wine Watch Wine Bar, and we've got another great event. One of the top producers in the Piemonte, for those of you that know me, know that the Nebbiolo grape varietal, my favorite grape varietal overall, and uh, the wines of Giuseppe Rinaldi are magic. We're going all the way back to the 1994 vintage, which with Barolo, Nebbiolo, that is still very young. I wish I had some older vintages. We've showed the 78s, the 71s for Minaldi, and these wines still drinking spectacularly. Um, we've got some of the new releases. Of course, the 2011, one of my favorite young vintages to drink. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, the wine's still great. They've changed the laws in Barolo, and uh, the wines that Rinaldi used to make, the Bernate, La Coste, the Canubi, San Lorenzo, you are no longer around, allowed to put two Cruise on the label, so these wines exist no more. Uh, they do make a Brunate still, which we'll be showing, and the Tretine, the two uh, new wines. And uh, like I said, that's all that's new from Rinaldi. Still one of the top producers of old world style Barolos, meaning no new oak, long skin macerations. These wines are built for the ages. One of the things I love about the 11s is even a classic style wine like this, you can drink in the 2011 Vintage Young and um, still get some enjoyment out of it. But we have got 10 different vintages of this great producer on the table. And uh, we got all these wines available, the 2003 and 2005, the lowest rated wines, the best wines to drink today. Will they steal the show tonight? Hey, this is why we do these events. Scientific research, those of you that want to learn about old school Barolo, $150 a person, a steal for a chance to drink wines like this. Check it out, everything that we've got in the store from Rinaldi and all the wines we're gonna be drinking on Saturday or the April 1st, the first day of April, April Fool's Day. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.